Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your weekly reading. This is for Leo Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is a message from my guides. So this reading will not be like anybody else's. None of my readings are, right? So anyway, this is a message from my guides for you. Um, the timing is always fluid, but this is intended for July 22nd through July 28th. This is for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're just going to see what comes up, what, what kind of message my guides have for you. I'm going to get one of these, one of these, one of these, and then we're going to use this deck right here. And I don't pay attention to the names in my decks. I don't. It's kind of like I don't read the books. <laughs> So, you know, people say, what deck is that? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I'm not going to go back and look. No, no. Anyway, so let's get started. What do we have for Leo? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. This is the energy oracle, energy oracle deck. <laughs> I know the name of this one. Um, just so you know, what do we got for Leo? One card. Ooh, you ready? Woman holding heart. We got a woman here that has a very big heart. She may feel like her heart has been ripped out. She may be looking for love. She's ready to give it away. She's ready for somebody to take it. Okay? This woman is very loving, very kind, very generous. She's been hurt. She's been hurt. Um, somebody can, That heart is so big that probably everybody can see it. Okay? It's huge. It's huge. So if you are the male watching this, you may be, you may be have it, you may be dealing with this woman. You may have this woman in your vicinity. If you are the female, this is you. This is you. Your big heart is noticeable. Okay, it's noticeable. Somebody sees it. Um, you may, if you look at the look on her face, this woman looks, you know, she may be feeling like... Can you see my big heart? You know, do you even see it? So you, you may be thinking that nobody sees it. You may be thinking that nobody is going to notice. But it's some. It's so big that how could it go unnoticed? I mean, it's so big. So we we have this woman here with a really big heart that, trust me, everybody can see it. Everybody can see it. And you may be a little scared about giving it away. You look like it. she's like, she's she's got it out there. And she's like, well, here it is. But I'm not so sure. You know, I'm not so sure that, you know, it's kind of like, here you go. But looking in the other direction, I, I guess so. I guess so. So you may be scared of giving your heart away. If you are the male watching this, you could be dealing with a woman who is scared to give her heart away. <coughs> she has a big one. Whoever this woman is in this reading, her heart is huge. Chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. You're on fire, Leo. You're on fire. Somebody is very attracted. Somebody is very attracted, and there's probably some mutual attraction as well. Very, very attracted. Ooh, finding sanctuary. Opening to your spiritual source. So, you know, this card flipped over. We are going to take it, but I just happened to look on the bottom, and I, and I do have to. I'm not going to read the card on the bottom, but I am going to show it to you. Voyage of the heart. Love flows through you into you. You know, maybe I will read it, because it seems like this is the card. 
I'm going to read them both <laughs> because I, I have to. It's just the way it goes. This has to do with your heart. It has to do with, with love, okay? It has to do with being loved. Finding sanctuary. I got the goosebumps. So I think that you guys are about to fall in love or open your heart to love or you're headed in a new direction towards love. Whatever that means. Um, finding, maybe you need to uh, follow your heart. Maybe you're in a situation that, you know, you need to follow your heart. Maybe you're not following your heart. Finding sanctuary. Rest, rejuvenate, tune into your spiritual source. It, it's in times of retreat and in inner sanctuary that you can tr truly hear the voice of your soul. Go within and find your inner refuge. Be a safe haven for others. Step forward with grace, deliberation, and thoughtfulness. Take moments for reflection. Profound healing of physical and emotional wounds can occur in the stillness of sanctuary. Difficult situations can be averted by taking time to go within. So this is saying that you need to go within. Maybe you need to heal your heart. Maybe you need to reflect. You need to take time to, you know, figure out how it is that you are going to follow your heart. We're going to go ahead and read this one. And I'm going to put this one up here because I really feel like this is the card. I just, I have to go with that. I have to go with what I feel. Um, Voyage of the Heart. Let me zoom that in for you. Look where I put it. That's funny. Love flows through you into you. I knew that was the card. You are beloved. You are deeply loved and profoundly lovable. You are profoundly lovable. You are a sacred vessel for love to flow through you. God, the creator, is love. And in your essence, so are you. In matters of romantic love, all is healing, or is about to be healed, or is already healed, on the inner planes. Trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. And that's why this, is, this one's here too. That's what I just said. You need to go within. What does your heart want? Trust the messages from your heart and follow them, even if they are at odds with your mind. Angels and guides are communicating with you. Listen to their soft whispers. And you have to do that through stillness. Okay? That means you need time alone, like in nature, perhaps. It doesn't have to be, but that's what I would suggest. Where well, there's no noise. Okay? You need to silence your mind and let them guide you to follow your heart. They will give you the messages. That means with no kids. That means with no music. You know, that means alone. Take time. Okay? Anyhow. Joyous love flows through you and to you. You deserve love. There is nothing you need to do to receive this vibrant energy. Tenderness and devotion are finding their way to you. The traveler walks with a light heart on the path, knowing that there is surrounded with love that, that she is surrounded with love. It says she. It's truly a day for rejoicing. Your capacity for receiving and giving love is expanding. Let your heart lead you forward. Your mission on earth is to deepen your ability to impart and accept love. And this is happening right now. I really feel like love is all about love. It is all about love. You do. It says you don't need to do anything, but this card says that you do. So I think that you do need to find a minute, find some time to go within to let your heart speak to you. Okay? You zoom that back out. So Leo, what do we got for Leo? Dear God, angels, spirits, and universe. For the 22nd to the 28th. Page, you're getting an offer of love. Page of Cups is an offer of love here. A welcome message. This could be a crush. Somebody could be flirting with you. You may be flirting with somebody else. This could be the beginning of love. <clears throat> Ooh, the Hierophant reverse. This is a disbelief, no faith. Um, you got to have faith. You got to trust. Oh, two of coins reversed. Now, this is a poor decision, not accepting change, 
not taking that next step, fear of commitment or no faith, no trusting. Mm. Oh, King of Wands reversed. False sense of security. I always got to see what's mirroring each other. And I don't mention it when I do my readings, but I, I, when I'm revealing, I'm looking at what's mirroring each other when I'm speaking. There is fear of getting yourself in a false commitment, a false sense of security. So it feels like you guys are, you know, you're with your, you, so that's why she's looking, it's like, here's my heart, but I'm scared. You know what I mean? So there's definitely fear of getting yourself involved in something that won't last. Um, and this is fear as well. The King of Wands reverse. This is lack of courage, lack of confidence, low self-esteem, um, not taking action. This is this is fear. If you think about the strength card, okay, this guy is represented by Leo, which would there's lack of there's fear here. Lack of courage. So oh my goodness. You guys probably were involved in a in a false foundation that took you backwards, that cost you some money, and that's why you're you're so fearful of giving your heart away. Holding on to a dead end, resisting change, um, not released. You haven't released yet. You haven't released the pain. Um, holding on. You may be holding on. Could be to a Scorpio. This is a Scorpio as well. I don't know. This is Scorpio as well. So I don't know if you're dealing with a Scorpio, but it could be Taurus. Could be anybody. It really could be. Um, but this is holding on to a dead end, resisting change. There's something that needs to end that you may may need to deal with. Six of Wands. This is making progress. Finding the confidence. Being recognized. You are headed towards victory. You are on the right path. You are recognized for your nobility. You are. You are never, somebody, some of you, you are dealing with a water sign. You're dealing with a water sign that may have used emotional blackmail as a tactic. You, you, or this, you know, this, this could be you. I mean, this, this could be you. This could be somebody who is emotionally withdrawn, somebody that doesn't communicate well, somebody that doesn't have good intentions, somebody that doesn't open up their heart fully, which has made you, you know, worried it's made you worried um page of wands reversed this is negative thinking this is bad news it's not good news this is this is somebody who is very pessimistic so i think your pessimism is getting in the way your pessimism pessimism is getting in the way of success it really is i feel as though you know, you need to, you need to open your heart. You need to follow your heart. You need to let somebody in. You need to let somebody love you. I think that you, you, you may, this is a dead end. This death card, there's a dead end here that hasn't been released yet. It hasn't been because the card is reversed. You need to find your confidence. You need to find your courage. This is very confident, courage, courageous individual who, you know, takes that takes that road, you know, decides to deal with adversity, decides to deal with the pain. This is a, this is a hero, okay? So, Leo, I feel as though you are probably dealing with a person that either couldn't love you or didn't know how to love you and it cost you some money. It did cost you some money. I feel as though now you are trying to find something stable. You're trying to find something secure and you're trying to hold on to your stability. And I think that you're really afraid of getting yourself into anything false at this time. I think that you probably have somebody who is flirting with you. They're interested in you. They're very attracted to you. This person, um, probably wants you to give them a chance this person is probably very noble but you don't trust them because maybe you're in a commitment now for some of you won't be everybody and you need to you need to get a divorce or you're still going through a divorce or something like that 
I think that you are in the you are making progress, but you you're it's almost like you 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 take two steps forward and three steps back. Two, you know what I mean? You keep on going backwards, and it could be because you're dealing you're still dealing with another person that you need to sever ties with. And just being honest with you, I feel as though you know there's a lot of pessimism here. It feels like you're probably thinking very negative about your future when you you should be thinking positive you you need to, you need to have a positive outlook i feel as though um let's get a few more cards yeah you're very discontent and you're restricting yourself from deepening a bond with somebody that could probably be a good match for you i, I you know i feel like there's an opportunity to deepen a bond with somebody, but you are still focused on a past commitment. You're still looking at, you know, a past commitment in which you, which caused you a lot of stress. It caused you a lot of depression. I feel like you were dealing with somebody who was very dark themselves. This person um, didn't fully open up emotionally and you're really really you have an opportunity now it's like somebody wants you to give them a chance but you are it's almost like you're you're shutting yourself down you're not allowing anybody into your life because of the false sense of security that you were last involved in i feel as though there's a deep bond trying to um cultivate right it's t trying to happen it's like you have this opportunity to cross this bridge to set to burn the bridge you know to burn that bridge you know this is the two of wands reverse you have this opportunity but you're delaying it because of there's lack of courage there's there's negative thinking it's like you probably have a new suitor here that is very well suited for you but you're refusing to see it because the last one didn't love you. They didn't have good intentions. They didn't follow through. And now you have to bring closure to this. And you may not have closed that chapter yet. So I think you're not quite ready to take that new, next step. But deep down in your heart, you are. You know what I mean? There's there's opposition here. There's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of back and forth. Like I said, two steps forward, three steps back. You want this. You want this love, but you're not. You're still holding on to some sort of dead, dead end. Maybe the ties haven't been completely severed yet. So I feel as though you are making progress. You are headed in the right direction. But some of you, this is somebody that the Nine of Swords reverse and the King of Cups reverse. You were, your gut is telling you that whoever you were dealing with didn't have good intentions. And that's true. But this next person that is coming or is here is not the same person and I feel like you have an opportunity to you know start something with somebody else that could lead to big love but you will have to find your courage and your confidence and your self-worth and your self-esteem that the last person took from you to allow you know this person to love you you know what I'm trying to say so I, I, I really feel like you have an unexpected choice in love. I think that you have to choose between two people, two paths. This is what this is. Okay? It is. You have to sever ties completely with the last one so that you can move into this love space with whoever this next person is. You do have somebody else that is very well suited for you. You do. Um... This person could probably be perfect for you. And there's a lot of chemistry. There's a lot of sexual chemistry. There's an opportunity to heal your heart with this person. This person can help you to heal. This person could be a soulmate. But you will have to find your strength that is lacking, I'm sorry, to, you know, cross that bridge and burn, burn it. So that's what I got. I, you have a... You have, an, you have a choice here. You have a new opportunity for love with somebody that 
you know you can just be yourself with where there will be reciprocation where there will be mutual love there will be mutual back and forth you know it's not the same person that was emotionally unavailable to you it's not but you're going to have to trust and you're going to have to have faith and you're going to have to believe and you're going to have to stop looking at the one that hurt you and that means like severing ties and no excuses none none good luck new opportunity for love leo don't throw it away. 